Hey everyone, today I'm on my toy hunt at Target in the front section. You'll see that they are just wiped out of Pokemon trading cards. Oh my goodness. Um, they've been very popular. Um, but they did have a few um, tins. Like this Sylveon GX tin is older. Um, they also had a Leafeon in there. And then they had some of the other tin packs. But wow, Pokemon cards have been a bit crazy right now because they're so popular. It's been hard to find some stuff, but I'm glad. I'm glad they are popular and they're an awesome collectible. Love the artwork. And then down here, they also had some wacky packages, minis. I love how they display them. Um, notice those are rats crackers. <laughs> and then you have band -Aik. Those are kind of, those are fun. Those are cute. Um, they have some Lucky Fortune. They have some more Pokemon tins. It looks like a lot of the tins and boxes. They have the Magic the Gathering cards. Cute little Optimus from World Smallest. I love those. They even have little G.I. Joe ones too. I hope they make more because those just look so cool in the in the package. And then on to sort of like their blind bag section, their mashems. Um, they had this Hello Kitty blind box, but it's like a little plush uh plush hanger I guess plush keychain I haven't seen those before and then they have a lot of cutie cuffs the Sanrio series um, some little mini Matsu and they have these squishy guys more cutie cuffs um, my little pony and then the dragon ones I uh, uh, reviewed some of these on my channel they are so cute they're actually hanging um, in my filming studio as we speak and they had some other cool dragon figures and then some Minecraft plushies, which are in a very cute style. The Enderman looks like chibi and, and kind of cute there. <laughs> so it's always fun to check the front of Target. And then they have some of the new LOL OMG dolls. That is so cool. Um, two different designs from the Winter, Winter Chill series. I do like how you can see the little one visible. But that's awesome. I didn't expect to find um, some new stuff this close to, to Christmas. But they are definitely well stocked with the LOL Surprise. Um, they have the Zodiac series. Or Present Surprise. Um, they have the Remix. They have the large LOL OMG dolls. They also have the All-Star BBs. The, that series. And then... Um, an older LOL surprise pets. I've seen this before at Walmart not too long ago with some of the older series being released again. Um, that's cool. Or maybe cleaning out like inventory with, with certain things as well. And then they still have the hair goals for the series two, the Na 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 surprise. Some Unicorn Squad, and this um, Target had mini brands in stock, which, wow, we haven't seen these for a bit. So that's so cool. Um, they're probably restocking those very frequently. We also have the Supermarket, the Cutitos, Pizza Itos, which are adorable. I love the wrapping. I didn't see the little Bobitos candy ones, um, which were really cute. I regret not picking some up. They also have some of the Disney Dorables. Um, blind boxes which since I've opened um, the new series they're really cute I, I do like the larger size too oh and Shopkins finally we have some real little packs um, that is awesome they it's been hard to find anything Shopkins but they have the mega packs that one has the fruit loops that I still need but I mean the rest of the characters are pretty much duplicates but that's cool I'm glad I hope they continue with Shopkins I don't know but I I love them I would still collect them and they had a lot of nice new plushies for for Trolls World Tour very cute and then My Little Pony in the electronic pet section they have this VTech um, Alicorn that one's cute very colorful we're also very well stocked in, in this section too. Um, there's the squeaky dog. He was hard to find for a bit. I like the this one with the little red shirt and the kind of Dalmatian dog maybe with the black and white. Very cute. Very, very cute. And then of course Hatchimals. Um, our quest 
is complete, but they had a w great stock of Pixie Riders. This is the special edition dragon in that goldish container. So, yeah, they, they definitely put out like a full case of, of Hatchimals Pixie Riders, which are amazing. I love that series so much. Glad to see them in stock. And then in back in the retro section, love, um, <laughs> cute little pound puppies. They have a lot of bigger ones. And then the little small guys. And then they also had My Little Pony well stocked. They actually had all four Gusty Sparkler, um, Heartthrob, and Surprise. So I'm always loving the retro section. And then in the Pokemon section, oh my goodness, they have some of the new Evolution Funko Pops. <gasps> I These surprised me. I had no idea these were out yet. <gasps> we have Vaporeon, Eevee, Jolteon, and Flareon. They had two. Um, we have cute little Flareon which is adorable, and Vaporeon. Oh my goodness. Okay, I love, love, love the Pokemon Funko Pops. Um, they also had that cool big set with Gengar, the 10-figure set. That's a great, great one. Um, and down here, they had the Small But Mighty with the little babies. Um, that's adorable. Love that special card it comes with. I don't know if that's a Target exclusive set, but um, yeah, that that is super cute. I'm so glad they made that set. Awesome stuff. They're also sold out of a lot of cards, but they, they do have some new sets, which is really cool. And then down here is the Super Mario. Love the castle. You also have a big uh, talking Mario. Oh, that Nintendo stuff is so cool. I hope they make more um, Zelda stuff as well. They have these ninja things. They have that Goomba set. <laughs> And then the Dino Strike for Zero Five Surprise. More Minecraft plushies. Ooh, a Minecraft Ram there. Very cool. They have the dungeon set for the Metal Figs, which look really awesome. I actually like the Metal Figs a lot. I've opened the um, Marvel or Guardians of the Galaxy one, and they were very cool. Um, they also have that Target exclusive, like holiday set. This Roblox set. I don't know what that red blob is, but he's kind of cute. And then Fortnite stuff. And then on the side where they have Transformers, they don't have too much going on. Um, they have some Siege of Cybertron and some Earthrise, which I love the Earthrise ones, but they have a lot of empty slots for, <laughs> for Transformers, so that's good. Um, I'm hoping to find others later. I know there's a lot of really cool um, Earthrise War for Cybertron toys coming out. They also have some cool Batman, Batwoman, very nice. And then, oh my goodness guys, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge plushies were restocked and they finally had the Loath Cat. They had the Wampa, the Bantha, and the Loath Cat. Oh my goodness, I've been looking for that Loath Cat since they came out and they had two. Um, you know one one's coming home with me, but that that is awesome and so adorable those those plushies are amazing and they make sounds um, so awesome they also had some some more droids um, some of the R2 units those usually go first and then they had some of the um, BB units too and of course more Star Wars stuff this set with Luke and um, Yoda from Empire Strikes Back is really really cool Oh, so excited to find um, so many things today at Target. That is awesome. I was not expecting this. But they are stocking as we speak. Here's this wrestling guy. I don't know why he's in a suit. <laughs> Looks comfy. Um, and then onto the doll aisle with crybabies. They have the larger dolls. They also had these. We saw these at uh, another Target, the minifigures. You can get twins or triplets inside. That's kind of cute. They, I know they make the little animal ones too. They also had some Cabbage Patch dolls and then more of the Crybaby houses. So they have the Magic Tear fairy ones and then the Packy houses as well. Which of these are really cute and really fun to open. I've opened a lot um, on my channel before. So that's cool that those are nicely stocked. They also have um, couple of the bigger ones up there as well and then here's a quick look in the Barbie section um, they have a gymnast Barbie and then the soccer player which is cool 
a lot of color reveal. That one is like a huge canister. Um, I've never opened those before, but I know they're, there's a lot of new stuff out. They have some holiday ones as well as the unicorn. And then these little cuties. I feel like they've come out before in that, that style. Um, and then more color reveal. And then a Barbie in a holiday dress. That one's kind of pretty. So that's pretty neat. And then I love that uh, reindeer, reindeer shirt. <laughs> Very cute. And then they've marked that set as one of the popular toys as well as um, this one's so pretty, the rainbow horse. And then onto the Disney section. Um, they have a cute little bobblehead Sven and then of course Bruni's adorable. They're very well stocked in the Disney section. I love those Frozen 2 plushies. Love the art style on those. And then they have a lot of the princess comics including couple left of the new series five and they also have the cinderella um castle little mystery set too and then down here they had some of the disney style dolls ariel and Belle, which are really pretty i really love like the box art design on those so lots of cool disney stuff and then on a back end cap, they have so many new toys. They have more mini brands. They have some of the Unicorn Squad. And then this is like a huge selection of LOL Surprise, like all the new series um, and a little bit of the older ones too, including more of the older LOL Surprise pets, the hair goals. Um, down here, they also had the larger ones. And then these little tiny mini um, animal LOL Surprise ones. I've never seen these or found these before. It looks like there's 18 to collect. And it's a little mini pet. I think they're going to be the same size for your mini dolls. Okay, that's really cute. Um, they're $4.99 here at Target. They don't have the box. They're just kind of in this little plastic thing. But super cute. Very well stocked. Always check the end caps at Target. <laughs> and then I'm back by the Funko section as my last stop. Hoping to find Jolteon. They had a big Vulpix there. Um, I had no idea they had a Holiday Barbie Funko Pop. That's cool. That's interesting. So that's kind of neat. And then they had Metalhead from Ninja Turtles. Some other like random merchandise. Um, some Spongebob. Some other cool things. Alas, no Jolteon. I'll be on the hunt for, for that cutie. Um, they had this adorable Baby Groot, and they had an interesting little Yoda plushie. But Baby Groot with the controller, the buttons, the death button that he's not supposed to press. Okay, so time for the haul portion of the video in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. And overall, I was just really happy to see so many new toys at Target this close to Christmas and the holidays. Um, that was a very pleasant surprise. And I picked up these two adorable cuties, Flareon and Vaporeon. I'm so happy for the Evolution line. I can't wait for when they do Umbreon and Espeon. Um, but there's four. There's Eevee and Jolteon. I really, really want Jolteon. Um, I know I have a flocked EV, so I'm curious if it's the same pose as um, the regular EV that they're releasing as 626 there. Um, but I did pick up Flareon. Super cute. And then I got Vaporeon. Also adorable. Look at the little tail. I like how they put the tail in front. So adorable. And these are just precious. They have just done such a great job with all the Pokemon Funko Pops. I love them. Super cute. Really excited to find those. And then the other thing I was super excited to find was the Star Wars Loath Cat. Oh my goodness, the Galaxy's Edge Trading Post plush. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Such an adorable artwork. Back in the day when Galaxy's Edge opened, I had a video of those Loath Cat plushies and the electronic Loath Cat they had. And I'm just so happy to find this little cutie. I've been on the hunt for him for a while. And here we go. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Oh, little hiss. And then a nice purr. I think they have three sounds. Oh, yep, going back to the hiss. So, so cute. I'm really glad that they restocked. Um, wow, that's, that's like a must-have if you're a Star Wars fan. So cute.
And then the last items I picked up were a few of the LOL Surprise Minis. Um, they look adorable. And I picked up three total. I think they were $4.99 each. And I guess they're the size of the little animals to go with your mini dolls, which I find adorable. I've never um, seen these before yet, so I'm just curious what they look like. And I realize now that they're numbered up top, so that's actually cool to avoid getting duplicates. Um, so I got three of those, and wow, that's that's a bigger haul than I've had in quite some time, but there was so many awesome toys still out. I go super early. Target's open at 7, which is great, um, but I think they're staying open till midnight now, too, if you're more of a, a late shopper. I like the early morning. <laughs> So uh, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. I do try to post a toy hunt each and every week. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.